good late afternoon. Quarter to five. Do you know what? Steve Wright's just upset me royally. Right royally. He said, yeah, this time next week it's gonna be dark. And that just sucks. It's not bad bad enough that it's dark at really six o'clock now. It's gonna be dark at five. Summer's over. I've done one run today, uh, concrete panels down to the other side of Coventry. To a farm. And then I got a phone call. I don't suppose you've got your night out game with you. I said I said I might have. Um, so I'm now gonna run to Whitchurch in Shropshire. Shropshire. So I'm going to get down there because I've got plenty of drive time left, plenty of work time direct uh, left really. Um, I'm only just coming up to using my first hour, my first four and a half hours. So I've got a uh, second spread to use up. But I, I need to pick up some scram. I don't know what I'm going to get, but uh, I know where I'm going to go. I'm going to pull into the in fact, it's where Trucker J pulled over uh, last time I saw him. When he, <laughs> he kept in Morrison's loading bay. Do you know what? You look like you wanted to carry on up there, my old fruit, and then you've changed your mind. -y. Yes. Uh, so I shall pull, be pulling into their loading bay also on the left hand side. Um, and I'll pop in Morrison's, pick something up. I haven't got my cooking kit. I've got my um, I've got my stove for my brew. I ain't got my pan and knife and all that malarkey, so I'm a bit scuppered. We've got the computer fixed, as you may have noticed. By the time you see this, anyway. I got the. I did order one screen. It was the wrong. It's the right model, but there's two derivatives. One's got a touch screen. I think one hasn't. So one's got a 40-pin adapter for the screen, the little plug, and mine's got 30 because mine's just the non-touch. So I've got. If anybody wants. A 15.6 inch screen for an Asus laptop that's touch screen. I can help you. All right. Uh, it's rush hour in Nottingham. They're all coming out of Nottingham though. Not going in. Of course, it'll be a bugger trying to get across to here to tier to two. Jesus Peasers, Molly Manolly, let me over. That's it. You're my block of me, old fruit. I'm coming through. It's better I pull into their loading bay than into the car park. <laughs> they look at me gone out. Crossings and surrounded by bushes either side, so you can't see people going out. 
No, it's not people walking I'm worried about, it's people on bikes. I always think that in a car. Turn right towards Ambleside, then turn left. Yes, I didn't want to pull into the car park, eh? Yes, so we go off to the Shropshire, another another farm in Shropshire. Um, I've got um, some more names to stick to a roll call, people that have been passing since I filmed the last one. And I've got some footage, two runs I did. One to London, and the other one to, where did I go? Oh, I can't remember. I've been to bed since then. But yeah, a couple of interesting runs. I shall put them up as soon as I can. But I know I'm working next, this Sunday, and I'm for this company all the way through. So Saturday's my only day off, so hopefully I'll, I'll get, it, get a bit done on Saturday. Hopefully it's one of them days where it's just piddling it down. So I can't go out and do anything. I shall have to. I shall have to um, catch up. Now I've got the computer back. It's still running rubbish though. I have no idea how to fix that. I can do the physicality of fixing the computer. I can change buttons. I can change screens. Yaddy yaddy yaddy. Swap the hard drive out. All that malarkey. But um. The actual, um, what would you call it? The software side. Is that, is that a term I'm looking for? I have no idea. I'm contemplating on um, wiping it and reinstalling Windows 10 because it's it's you can't really use a computer very well. Every time I go to search for something. It, um, I think it keeps coming up with a message, I can't remember what the message is now. But the only way to carry on is to disconnect it from the internet, i.e. click down on the, on the tab disconnect, then reconnect, and all of a sudden, magically, it works. Then I thought I'd maybe fill the hard drive up, because these video files, they're, they're big, you know, they took up a lot, but I've got a terabyte of hard drive space so I don't get what that's fine it should have plenty of RAM and all that so I don't I don't know if it's a fault it was all right right up until we Windows 10 uh, did its updates uh, Pete Tong the thing is I can't even take it back now because I broke the screen they'll know I've had it to pieces especially when they see a bit of duct tape holding the connector back on because <laughs> that they put a bit of security seal and I just put a bit of duct tape back on it. It's during the opening and closing the lid that make sure that the connector doesn't come under. Yes. Right, well, we'll get some snap toodles. I've got this snap from Morrison's. Um, I picked up, and I know whenever I film this, whenever I go to Morrison's, I always come out with it. I picked a salad up from the salad bar. To do a meal deal, you get um, a drink and a snack, and I picked up one of them little um, innocent smoothies, the green one, lovely, lush. Um, 
Yes. So a nice salad. I would have liked something warm tonight, but I haven't got my pan with me and stuff, so I hope. Okay, sir, sir, whatever will be, will be. We should enjoy it. And just to uh, address the balance, um, for breakfast, I've got uh, five donuts from uh, Morrison's 50 Pie. 50 Pie donuts, they're lovely. They're lovely donuts, best donuts I've tried. So yeah, that just about, why, why? Thank you, keep going, jog on. Why did he just stay? Uh, right. Do you know what, sometimes I catch <coughs> the limiter. The limiter's on the steering wheel. There's a little button. Sometimes I think I catch it. Yes, I did, because it's got on limit. It says limit on the dashboard. Oh, that's a silly place to put it, really. Right next to where you hold it. Yeah, so I'm um, now going down Remembrance Way. And this road used to be rubbish this time of night. Absolutely pants when it was single road. It took you literally to get from Radcliffe to the M M1 it did take you an easy three quarters of an hour to an hour it was shocking he's jogging on isn't he where's his limiter on his truck jump on a bus and get off at the corner of such and such and such and such. I mean, well, actually, I was thinking of walking. Like, can't you just go? And I pointed on the map. She said, you could, but um, there's a high probability you'd be killed. And what? Yeah, you don't want to be walking across there. Uh, oh, right. I'm getting the bus then. So I did. I didn't fancy being killed that night. Why would you have a car? That shocking glue ugly and that shocking colour. It is. What time is it? Half past five. Look, and it's dark. Well, it's getting dark. You know what I mean? So six o'clock, you're all in, aren't you? So it's going to be half four again, isn't it?
Remember where? It's a cracking little stove this is. It's one I take camping with me, so they're not expensive. Have the uh, gas cartridge there. They're cheap enough to buy. Brilliant. It'll have that boiled in minutes. I need the milk. Let's get it out my fridge. <laughs> Got it. Uh, yes, the fridge, um, which I'm not going to open because it smells like um, a dead dog. Because it doesn't work. So, yes. And um, my doorstep is my refrigerator. You, you find people putting stuff on the steps because then the door closes stopping them falling off the step um, but in the winter time it acts as a fridge so it'll just keep my milk nice and cool and it'll, uh, I'll put my water out there Well, before you know it, it'll boil quicker than your kettle at home without electricity, that's what I'm sure. So, <laughs> kettle's on! Um, I don't know who regularly drives this truck, but what he's done is he's uh, taken the push it up there and he's put it on there so this is a two cushions now that'd be cool hopefully nice and um, comfortable and I got my blanket not like the other night that was my blanket last time I had a night out I had two nights out as you'll see uh, or you will have already seen in my previous vlog which I filmed a while back because I had broken my computer yaddy 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 um, but yeah, so I had that was my pillow, my jumper, and that was my duvet, and that was it. Not good. Yeah, this stove's brilliant. It takes blinking. I just need to swirl that out. It takes seconds, it'll be faster than your kettle at home. I don't care if you've got one of them rapid boil things. Oh, sorry mate. I've got a field over there. Not that you'll see it in the dark. Yes, I'm on, I think I'm on the A41 in Shropshire. And... Um, I'm hoping that the traffic will die down after sort of 10 o'clock-ish. It's only 9 o'clock. Mind you, when I'm asleep, I'm asleep. I'm it, takes a, um, it takes a lot to wake me. Oh, you beauty. See it pulling across. That's better, isn't it? I don't know if you can see. So yeah, so the only part about that bit now there is I can put all my gear up here, out the way. And yeah, I really didn't sleep well. That I had two nights out on the bounce, and both nights I hadn't got my duvet with me, and it's no fun. I can tell you. So I should be a lot more comfortable. I'm seven miles away from where I need to be tomorrow morning. This was a convenient. Um, I'd got like three or four minutes left of my this particular um, four and a half four and a half hour stint, and as I'm only seven miles away, I thought I'd well, call it that be enough. Because if it, I know that I'm delivering to a farm, and the problem is if I get down to the country lanes where the farm is, I bet you I won't be able to find anywhere to pull up anyway. So I thought no double check this this taco 
Yeah, it's on rest, just checking. Because uh, earlier on this morning, I got to my first drop the other side of Coventry, and I pulled, uh, I pulled over in this farm, unloaded it. It took about an hour and 10 minutes to unload it. So they're only flat panels, but they just take a bit of manoeuvring, you know what I mean? And when you're struggling for space to put them and whatnot. Um, but it, it went on to break. So it turned out, it refreshed my time obviously because it, it saw I took a 45 but I didn't put it on brake because normally the default setting on the tacos is other work but for some reason this particular one I wish they'd all sing off the same in sheet and the new Scania I've got uh, I've been using the new tachograph it's got a bigger display and right in the center of the screen it it starts off when you start driving at four hours and 30 minutes then there's a picture of a steering wheel and that starts counting down and at a quick glance not a get in the magnifying glass to look at that quick glance and you you know exactly where you are in that um, four and a half hour stint it's brilliant yeah they need to just say look this is how they've got to be and we all sing off the same in sheet save any confusion so, yeah. so I'll get up about seven o'clock ish tomorrow morning. Have a brew. Get ready. Um, I should be able to get down there without problem. This lay-by, I mean, it's not right next to the road. It's it's a wide lay-by, and then there's a, a grass verge in between. So I haven't got to worry about the old in the middle of the night. I don't know how people sleep on the side of the A1. Right on the side. I just don't get it. Because you've got to have a good night's sleep to do this job. It's imperative. So, yeah, I've been killing a bit of time. Replying to a few of you on YouTube on my phone. Uh, I should have bought my laptop. I could have done a bit of editing. Put the latest uh, vlog together. But hey ho, another day. I'm working yesterday, today, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, off Saturday, then I'm in Sunday. I quite like working Sundays because the, the roads are, are they're a bit quieter, right up until about half past ten, when everybody and his dog wants to come out and play. And then the roads are mad. Yeah, right up until then, the roads are beautiful. You just get to where you're going without having to queue anything. Or oh, there's traffic jams. You know what I mean? So, plus the fact it's a better way to pay. I did a shift. Um, was it last Sunday? It's not that I've got a poor memory. I'll tell you what it is that one day blurs into another when you do so many hours. Was it last Sunday? Hmm. No. Well, I don't think it was. No, it was the Sunday before. I did 15 hours on the Sunday. Which is <laughs> one day out of the week that you're going to get a 15 hour shift that's the day you want it so I have a target every every week what I, I like to take home um, and that when you do a shift like that that really helps and I think you deserve to get extra if you work in the weekend you know because it's it's family time isn't it you know what I mean and yeah I'm, I'm a big believer in enhanced rates for bank holidays and weekends and all that I know I've always said, look, don't call me if it's not an answer rate because I ain't doing it. Because I know some stub arts fellas don't, they don't get an answer rates, do they? Which is not good. Not good. It's just another day to a lot of people, isn't it? Right.
I can show you around this truck tomorrow. It's a uh, MAN 13 plates. Uh, it's not bad. The gearbox is a bit jumpy on it. It's a... And it's worn out. Look, I know what everything is. Um, yeah, it's just... It's a bit lurchy. Which, when you're trying to set off or you're creeping in traffic, not so much on the flat, but if you've got a slight incline, it's not good. Really, really not good. Uh, especially, you know, like when you're trying to hook up. Um, a couple of times I've been creeping, creeping, creeping. And then because of the, the friction between the fifth wheel and the trailer, it just holds it back. So you just have to put a little bit more gas on, then bang, you're in. It's like, oh my God. But um, one of the lads for this company, uh, I saw him just before I set out. I said, oh, they got your new truck. It was a brand new Volvo FH500. Is it the FH? It is, isn't it? And it was really nice. He said, no, I'll never buy one of these. He said, this is a, a demo truck. So I don't know how long he'd had it for. He says, it pulls like a train. I said, you know why it pulls like a train? He says, why? I said, because it's the 500. <laughs> Short of being the 750, it's it's a powerful truck. So, yeah. And, and I know some of you don't get that when you say, oh, it's a really powerful truck. You think, well, yeah, but you can still only do 56 miles an hour, which is true. But... You try going up the M62 in an underpowered truck and tell me it don't make a difference. Yeah, it really does. You just you never never deviate from your 56 miles an hour. Do you know what I mean? Nothing slows you down. Whether you got a load on board or what. And that, that's nice. I was, what truck? I was out in a truck the other day. Yeah, it could have been a daft. And it just absolutely pulled like a train. Well, to be fair, that Iveco wasn't bad. I mean, I hate Ivecos, but it was pretty rapid, like. Didn't much, much didn't slow it down. But yes. Right, I've been waffling on for 11, nearly 12 minutes now. I want to purchase another one of these GoPros. Now, this one is just the the basic uh, hero, it's just called the hero. And the difference between the one I've got and others is that this one hasn't got a screen on the back, so you can't view what you're pointing it at. And this hasn't got Bluetooth, so you can't use like remote to operate it. But it's not a problem for me, because I have it set up right in front of me at the wheel, and it's a one button operation, or you can set it up to press the top button it starts recording, press the top button again, it stops. So all I have to do is reach forward, press it once, and it starts recording. So, so I'm, I'm not worried about using it whilst I'm driving and stuff like that. You know, you haven't got to mess about looking and see if it's switched on. No, and then the little light starts flashing. So you know it's recording. But I'd like another one, but a, I, I don't know, maybe, um, the Hero 3 Black, something like that, just so that it, I can use one of them remotes and I'll put it somewhere on the truck and capture just a, you know, a different angle, Let think, keep things interesting I think. And I'd love to set up that um, reverse where I put a camera here pointing at the driver, me. It pointed at steering wheel, so you'll see that angle. And then I'll put a put this on the actual mirror, facing that way. So, or even set it up on that window, pointed at the mirror, so you can see the forward view, yet still see the mirror in full, seeing where you're going. And it'd be great to maybe set the Vivitar up, make son's little camera up on the rear bumper so you can see what's going in. So I think that's the problem that people have when they're first starting to 
reverse is not knowing which way to turn that wheel um, you know it just I mean it, it becomes instinctive and trust me it took me a while to get to grips with it all it really did but if I can do it you can I can promise you so but yeah you just it becomes second nature you automatically turn it the, the, the right way but it's counterintuitive anyway but the problem with that is when you and I'm sure there's other drivers out there and please admit to it because I've done it a couple of times now where I've unhooked from my trailer gone to reverse into a um, a bay next you know park, park the truck up and I've turned the steering wheel the wrong way because you just your brain hasn't detached the trailer <laughs> do you know what I mean it's still on there so yeah you you turn the steering wheel the wrong way and it'll the the truck will turn the wrong way it's a bit funny please tell me somebody else has done that i can't be the only one i can't be the only muppet oh yeah hmm. yeah mate of mine's just been for a, a, an assessment drive and i spoke to him earlier he's, he's and he's how long is he, he's not been on the road like he's only been on it's probably six weeks, something like that. And yeah, he, he did all right on the drive, but then he was just asked to put it on a bay, and there was no markings or anything like that. And he said he made a right pig's ear of it. And it just sometimes reversing is like a bit like that, you know. <laughs> he said, "Yeah, I made a right pig's ear of it." Then next day you'll go out and I know I I I I, I had one on a day where, where I was I really felt I was getting to grips with the reverse and I'd gone into this yard and I was in the wrong yard and the only way out was to reverse back out and I reversed it out a treat turned it round got out of the yard then all I had to do for this company was straighten up in the car park and reverse back through the gate. And I made such a meal of it, like, <laughs> such a meal of it. A driver said, oh, you made a meal of that, yeah. I went, do you know what? Just when I thought I was getting to grips with the reverse, and I said, look, I'm a new driver. He says, yeah, I said to the lad, you were new. <laughs> no, they do watch you. It's awful, isn't it? But, yeah, I made a cock up of it. So I sympathise with you, Gaz. I really do, mate. A simple thing but yeah I, I just I replied to somebody oh it was Hammy I spoke to Hammy I said you know when you love a job well because I was off for 10 days when we back and uh, I said you know you love a job when you can't wait to get back get back out on the road when you miss it and, and that's the way I feel which I think it's great because I've invested a lot of money if I started to hate it, I'd be gutted. But no, every day is a fresh challenge. Still loving it. Yeah, yeah, you won't be when you've been in ten years. Oh, I don't care. I've been in. I'm wise, wiser now. I'm nearly forty-four. I know what's what, and I know when I found something that I loved. You know what I mean? So yeah, onwards, onwards. Luke Vernon, he used to say that on what? I do miss these vlogs with Bertie. A lot of you, if you're new to YouTube, new to trucking vlogs, you, you won't really have perhaps seen a lot of Luke stuff because he stopped a while back now. But yeah, he used to have um, right in the corner of his dashboard, Bertie, a big Lego head that he called Bertie and he used to talk to it. You know, it was just, just funny. He was a great vlogger. Yeah, I miss what he does. I loved his European stuff. I'd love to do a bit of that myself. Right, I'll let you go from waffling on now because I'm on my tod. Toodle. Catch you later.